Hello guys today in this video, we are going to help you to find out the hybrid bikes for men in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check our links in the description below. Number 12. Cannondale Treadwell 3 The Cannondale Treadwell 4 might not look that much different from the other bikes on this list, but it's actually one of the most interesting. Cannondale broke away from lots of established patterns to create something that's perfect for city riding. The handlebar, for example, is inspired by BMX handlebars. It creates a more upright position than the flat bars you often see on fitness hybrids. The pedals don't use pins that can cause nasty scrapes, they use much shin-friendlier deck tape. The frame comes with urban armor bumpers that prevent dings and scratches from leaning your bike on stuff. And although it looks a bit more like a mountain bike, it has some great comfort features. An upright position, step-through frame, and a lower saddle all mean you can put your foot down at a stoplight without falling over. It's a hybrid, done differently, and it's fantastic. Number 11. Specialized Cirrus 3.0 When you look at the Cirrus, you don't see a hybrid, you see a road bike with a flat handlebar. This bike is built to put in a lot of miles while keeping you comfortable. When you dig into the specs on the Specialized Cirrus 3.0, you'll see a lot of things that look like they came from a race bike. A carbon fork. Hydraulic disc brakes. A two-piece crank. A 29 drivetrain with wide gearing. The 700X32C tires are on the wide side for a road bike, but still narrower and faster than those you'll find on many other hybrids. This Speakliazid hybrid bike can certainly handle gravel roads, but it's made for going fast on pavement. Whether that's to get in shape or to get to work is up to you. Number 10. Giant Escape 3 It's hard to beat Giant when it comes to price. To keep the cost of the Escape 3 low, Giant made some smart cost-saving moves, like including a steel fork instead of an aluminum one. You don't get many bells and whistles with the Giant Escape 3, but you do get a Shimano Tourney drivetrain, 700C wheels for fast rolling, internal cable routing, and 700X38C tires for a well-rounded ride. Going up in price will get you nicer components and probably a better fork. But you'll be hard-pressed to find a better deal than the $420 Escape 3 Giant Hybrid Bike. Number 9. REI Co-op Cycles CTY 1.1 Hybrid Bike REI's house brand bikes provide consistent value even without a big brand name. The CTY series combines a comfortable position with efficient wheels and a 24-speed drivetrain. The 1.1 gives you what you need and not a whole lot else, but it also has a price that's very tough to beat. Mechanical disc brakes and a Cell Royal saddle offset things like the alloy fork and no-name wheels. One of the best features on the CTY 1.1 is the Kenda tires. They're 700x40C, so they provide a lot of comfort alongside a great amount of grip. The larger wheel size is great for efficient pedaling, too. One of the best hybrid bikes for men under $600 for 2021. Number 8. Trek FX 3 Disc Coming out of the Big Red Barn in Waterloo, Wisconsin, Trex FX is the brand's best hybrid bike, at least if popularity is the defining factor. The frame is made from Trex Alpha Aluminium and features internal cable routing and mounts galore for luggage and fenders. The FX3, like many of the other best hybrid bikes including the Cannondale Quick, also sees a carbon fork which sheds quite a few grams over the metal version and improves vibration dampening. The bike also sees a Bontrager ISO Zone handlebar which further improves front-end comfort. Trek has opted for hydraulic flat mount disc brakes on the FX so braking will always be confident with little to no maintenance required, and turning the gears is a 2x9 speed Shimano Acera drivetrain. Trek offers the FX in two geometries, with this version offering the more upright and comfort focused of the two. Number 7. 630 EVR Yerni Hybrid Bike Need a Cheap Bike Fast? The 630 EVR Yerni bike can be at your house in two days thanks to Amazon Prime. It will get you where you're going, and it comes with a rack, fenders, and a chain guard. Did you know you could get all that for less than $400? I didn't. I'll be honest, 
you'll make some compromises with this bike. You only get 7 speeds. You get 26 wheels. The components are, well, about the lowest end you can get. But this bike has gotten solid reviews for a reason. It's very, very affordable. It's simple. It works. The cruiser styling means you can put your feet on the ground without getting off the saddle. In short, it's a solid, cheap commuter. Number 6. Trek Verve 3-Disc Hybrid Bike Going in the Opposite Direction from the FX Sport. The Verve is a comfort-focused hybrid that's all about getting you to where you're going with minimal discomfort. If you have a bad back, a very upright bike like the Verve 3-Disc will suit you well. Not only does the Verve have an upright riding position, but it also includes a suspension seat post to take some of the bumps out of the road. Trek's ISO zone handlebar and grips are meant to reduce road chatter, too. You won't win any races on this Trek hybrid bike. But you know what? That's not what it's for. It's for getting from one place to another as comfortably as possible on a bicycle. Save the environment, save your back, and save some money with a comfort-focused bike like the Verve. Number 5. Trek FX Sport Carbon 4 Hybrid Bike Like the Verza Speed, Trek's FX Sport Carbon 4 is basically a flat bar road bike. Aggressive positioning, a carbon frame and fork, a 111 drivetrain, and Bontragers are one hard case tires all point to long miles on the road. You could easily do a charity ride or a century on the FX Sport Carbon 4. That's how efficient it is. But there are some nods to comfort, too. The ISO speed decoupler provides just a bit of flex where the top tube meets the seat tube. 700x32c tires are big enough to smooth out the road. And the saddle, while sporty, is better padded than those you'll find on most road machines. At upwards of $1,750, the FX Sport Carbon 4 is getting into the high end of hybrid bike prices. But it shows how brands are bringing the joys of road riding to people who can't adjust to a full-on road bike. Number 4. Tommaso Forza Disc Hybrid Bike You don't see too many Tommaso bikes out there, but that doesn't mean they're not selling good bikes. The Forza Pack Shimano Shifting, Avid Brakes, and Ergonomic Grips, all things that you'll find on bikes with higher price tags. While Tommaso calls this a commuting machine, you can use it for anything you want. That's the beauty of this type of hybrid. It has a steel fork for comfort without the weight of suspension. A 37 drivetrain for plenty of gearing options. 32mm tires for grip and comfort over rough surfaces. Basically, the Forza Disc is a category central hybrid bike. It can handle long days on the road just as well as some light off-road adventures. Number 3. Cannondale Quick CX2 Hybrid Bike If you like the idea of a suspension fork for added comfort and grip, but want something a little more road-focused than a mountain bike, the Quick CX2 is the perfect bike for you. And unlike many hybrids, it comes with an air-sprung fork, so you can dial the suspension to fit your riding style. The 29 drivetrain on the Cannondale Quick CX2 is similar to what you'll find on an entry-level road bike, and gives you plenty of gearing options without adding the weight of a third chainring. 700x40c tires from Kenda let you run high pressure for fast riding on the road or lower pressure for more grip on dirt. A bike like this is a great choice if you only want to buy one bike but still ride in a lot of different ways. Plus look at that orange color. What more do you need to know? Number 2. Cannondale Bad Boy Hybrid Bike One look at this bike will tell you everything you need to know about it. It's the color of wet asphalt. It has a rigid lefty fork. A sporty frame design. And, most conspicuously, the Cannondale Bad Boy 1 sports a Gates belt drive. Even beyond the belt drive, this bike has cool features for bike commuters, like rechargeable LEDs built right into the seat post and the fork. The 650B wheel size and 8 gears make it feel a bit more like a mountain bike. But the Bad Boy is all street. What's a belt drive, you ask? It replaces the chain with a belt. You can't drop your chain, because you don't have a chain. No need to clean or lube it. The rear hub is internally geared, so you can't kick up road debris into your gears. It's an absolute game-changing touring bicycle. Number 1. 
Schwinn Vantage F2 Herbert Bike Schwinn did something very impressive with the Vantage F2. It incorporated technology that you don't often find on hybrid bikes into a very affordable package that works just as well as a light-duty road bike or a path prowler. By using some elastomer connections and decoupling the seat tube from the seat stays, you get a bike that's solid and efficient but provides just a little give to keep you from feeling beat up. This is tech that you'll usually find on endurance road bikes, not hybrids. It's really cool that Schwinn has brought tech like this into the Vantage series. It's almost a flat bar road bike. Beyond that, you get about average specs for this price point on this Schwinn hybrid bike. A Shimano 24 speed drivetrain combos well with mechanical disc brakes. The wheels include brand name parts from Alex and Formula. Kenda 700X35C tires combine fast rolling with solid grip and vibration cancellation. The big drawback here is an alloy fork. It keeps weight down, but won't soak up as much road noise as steel or carbon.